Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about some of the updates that Ducati brought to the Sepang test that happened this week. Now the first area we're going to focus on is the exhaust and here you will see the top exhaust can from the old 2023 bike and if you notice the thickness and where the actual butterfly valve is placed on this one you will see However, if you look at the new exhaust here, you will see the exhaust is much more slender. And also you will see that the butterfly valve in the exhaust is actually placed further back down the exhaust. Also, here you will see the old exhaust on the GP23. For the lower section, as you can see, the shrouding around it. However, with the new one, Again, it's just like a little stubby exhaust right at the end. Now, I do think that this is trying to help them with low end uh, power. Now, next, uh, here you will see the differences in the front fairings. They are uh, trying to tweak the front fairings. And again, it's very, very hard to see it. But if you look under where it says Carrera, you will see the line of the wing there. However, in this next picture, you will see how far that line goes back. So they've extended the wing back just that little bit further and at a little bit more of aggressive front angle. So very, very slight change, but there is a slight change there anyway. Now, Ducati, again, kind of like Aprilia, broke the internet with its radical design of, of maybe putting together the two functions that they were trying to run last year. But that's not the only aerodynamic devices that they tried for ground effect on the side. There was a number of them that were here. And first you will see that this one, which is, looks a bit of a, a duct tape and tie wrap jobs again, but again is trying to replace the downward duct. I don't think this one stayed on too long, and I think it was Michele Piro that was testing this in place of uh, Franco Morbidelli. You will see also this one here kind of brings me back to the first version of wings that Ducati did try, but this time the wings are going the other way around. But uh, it was very clear to see that realistically Ducati had kind of mapped out where they were going to go and you know uh, the combination of both uh, ground effect things that they were trying last year is definitely definitely working. Peko was very very happy with it and I actually saw Peko run a fully liveried up a version of it um, which I thought was very interesting because they were trying to hide the fact that they were running it um, but again, you can see where they're going with this. There's ground effect on the side. You can see the cutout um, that was on uh, Zarco's bike, actually, for most of the season. There's air inlets, and that is actually coming out the bottom, as you can see here. The downward duct is still there. Um, and it is it is really, really interesting. Here you will see um, a GP23 uh, in all its action on the front. And what I'm using this for is just comparing um, the other satellite bikes who seem to be on a mid-year spec Ducati, if I'm honest. It doesn't seem to be the new spec that uh, Jorge Martin and Peko Banyaya were running at the end of last year. Here you'll see a start from Busecki. Um, also, you can see the downward ducks here at a better angle for Fabio Di Antonio. Now, I do believe VR46 did try the new downward ducts, um, but they were not on the Grassini bikes at all. And just to give you an understanding of the different sizes between the, the downward ducts and that, here again is Peko with the downward ducts on his bike. And as you can see, the opening is far bigger um, than the ones on the early spec 2023 bike. Again, this is pure Ducati, you know, making changes that are barely noticeable but will have a massive impact if i look at the, how the test went i think overall for ducati i think they are in a very very happy place the aero works their engine is is under control they've learned lessons from the past two years 
We haven't seen everything yet, is what I'm led to believe. I do think Gigi has a couple of more bits up his sleeve. I think for the eight riders on the bikes, I think it was a pretty successful test. Obviously, um, Morpidelli didn't, but Piero did get some good mileage in and tried to get more and more, say, things tested in the way of what they had planned to test. So definitely new aero devices that weren't planned to be tested were tested so i definitely think it's very very interesting um you know and i think they're all walking away from this test pretty pretty happy there is more to come from ducati for sure they definitely look in <laughs> domination form to be fair with them but uh, i think it's definitely boding well to see how 2024 is going to go but i would definitely love to know your thoughts what do you think of ducati's side fairings that they tried the exhaust you know and the differences that the satellite teams riders are getting they're actually getting a bike that is not the last spec of last year i think they've gotten a bike that is mid-year mid-spec definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and i'll be back again tomorrow with another video mm -hmm.